Use this five play mini scheme to attack your opponent on the ground and in the air. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can get my daily uploads. All right, we're going to be talking about a uh, formation out of the Bengals playbook, and this is going to be the single back wing slot. Um, actually, I had a Patreon member uh, from my Patreon uh, website uh, request the, the Bengals, so I want to go ahead and put together just a, short, a small little mini, mini scheme that you can use against your opponents to go ahead and pick up uh, a nice ground, like a ground and pound type of scheme and to pick up first downs uh, as you move up and down the field. So we're going to utilize single back wing slot, um, and uh, one of our base audibles is going to be the halfback blunt dive. That's going to be the only base audible we're going to keep. I'm going to go ahead and change out everything else. Uh, uh, some of the other audibles are stick and play action sale. I don't really care for that. And then the standard of most audibles, which is going to be for vertical. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First and foremost, why stick? I want to go ahead and change this out with... Uh, play action post shot. This is going to be basically a play we're going to use to go ahead and stretch the field in the middle of the field and also on the sidelines. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check check that. And then for the L1, we're going to go ahead and tack off the left hand side of the field. So we're actually going to go ahead and utilize the Jet 6 drives. The Jet 6 drive. I like this because it's got some pretty good concepts. You can hit your opponent in the seams. And then uh, replacing the play action sale dig, we're going to replace that with um, uh, one of my favorite plays, which is going to be the tight end spot. This works like a levels play. It's very hard to stop, and it gives you easy reads across the field. Now, our base play that we're going to call out of the huddle is going to be the halfback uh, toss strong. And we're just going to run this against random 34 defenses. Now, this play is fairly easy to read. You just count the box, and wherever there's more defenders, you're going to go either to the left or to the right. Right here, we've got uh, basically a uh, defender off uh, off the uh, more less defenders off to the right. You've got a pulling guard. And really what you're going to do is you're going to look for your lanes and try to go and pick up uh, easy yards with the toss. What's cool about this play too is that you've got you got a fairly good toss off the left. Now this is a very stacked uh, stacked box, so let's see if we can uh, get this off. But what we're going to be doing is that we've got the toss off the left. Uh, a lot of times, what happens is that you're going to get pretty good blocking off the left. That you can you can get that. Um, also, what you're going to do too is that that outs that pulling guard. Uh, he sometimes will actually pick up the the defensive back coming in and you can get get some fairly easy yards with that so let's see if the, you can know, see how the defensive back came in I'm going to show you this so you can you, you have to know this when you're running this play is that you can get some really good running room with this figure play if you um, if you watch this guard this guard is going to go ahead and pick up uh, the defensive pack on the back corner so watch what happens with this uh, this uh, wide receiver he actually whiffs his block and this guy comes down now if these guys hold their blocks and it wasn't basically this other third defender coming right there uh, this actually could have won house so uh, it was it was a good chip right there I, did, I, I actually was bottled up but uh, you're gonna see some times where there's not gonna be this many people in the box and you're gonna be able to go ahead and get some pretty good yards uh, against maybe just a standard cover four or whatnot so once again we're just going to count the box if you don't like the box the way it's set up you, these guys are spreading themselves wide you can go ahead and just run the ball right up the middle and you should be able to get some fairly easy yards with that uh, 94 just came screaming down but here's a situation where you can throw this uh, throw the ball or go to go to the other side as you can see, the blocking uh, by the pulling guard will actually go and mess up a lot of the defensive backs. And I'm, if I'm getting five yards a shot, I'm fine with it. It's going to be fine with me with this running play. It's just going to make it very effective, and it's going to stretch the ball wide. And you can get these big opportunities right there. So just miss the hole, but you can see that the blocking was holding up for me. Now, um, if we got an opponent that's running a lot of man coverage, we can go ahead and jump in some of the pass plays. So let's go ahead and switch over to man coverage. So... Um, we're going to come back to the play action post shot. We're going to take a look at the Jets drive. 
And I like to run this play the following way. Whether what doesn't matter what type of coverage I'm looking at or what tendency my opponent has. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and streak up uh, my my tight end number one or put him in a fade because I want to clear out that uh, the back zones to open up green. My first read is going to be tight end number two. Drag route is going to be something we're going to go ahead and drop down to and actually pick up some fairly good yards. And you know, obviously, if you're playing mutt, you can have some fairly fast tight ends at the uh, at the tight end number two position. And we're just going to go ahead and just drop drop it down to that area. Now, another area of the field that you can look to with the, with the the Jet Six Drive wheel uh, is going to be uh, that that weird wheel route. Let's see if we can get this. All right. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. He actually, he did come down with it. So, but if you got a burner of a guy uh, with really good speed and high awareness, sometimes you can go ahead and get um, a, you know a huge play off the back end side so but the smart play is to go with the dragging route underneath that's going to be the smart play to go with i uh, even if you were to go ahead and leave uh the uh the the in route by the tight end number one uh that's probably not going to happen so i'm going against random plays right here so i don't really know what the tendency with the computer but you can see this is going to be the area of the field you want to go with uh, with your man reads now, tight end, uh, tight end spot is another area that we're going to go with. Uh, I would say if you got a guy that's running a lot of man blitzes, tight end spot is probably going to be the smarter thing to go with. And we're going to basically go ahead and create ourselves some mesh concepts. So our inside, our tight end number two and our inside wide receiver number two, we're going to put him um, uh, basically on a... Um, a mesh concept and we're going to go ahead and look to the running back first off to the right hand side if the defender does not fall into that area then we're going to go ahead and shoot shoot the ball out to him and a lot of times what's going to happen is that mesh is going to mess things up but you can see against man coverage uh, basically this play uh, is going to basically give you options all over the field uh, to throw against your opponent if he's using man coverage you've got the deep in route you've got the drag routes over the middle Hopefully my line can play or actually hold a block here. Let's see if we can get this off. So we're going to go ahead and drag up our guys. And my, if my line can hold up, uh, I got the deep dig route that's your good separation. I've also got uh, basically the routes off to the right hand side. So it's uh, just another way that you can go ahead and attack the sticker play. It's going to give you uh, those opportunities against man coverage. So let's go ahead and see. Once again, if we can get that, just going against massive blitz. So I would say if a guy's doing a lot of aggressive man blitzes, you probably want to stay away from that particular play uh, uh, unless you block one of your guys. Or you could take this uh, this guy right here and just bring him in, snap the ball just to go ahead and provide yourself an extra blocker. Uh, that actually will go and help you against man pressure. So. Um, if, you, if you're feeling a lot of pressure with it and you want to run with it. Now, another play that you can use is this play action post shots. And um, basically, another thing I'm doing with the play action post shot is I'm actually dragging up both my guys uh, just to give myself kind of a levels concept. And um, really what I'm looking for is just uh, just trying to get the separation. Now, one of the things I'll do with green is I'll actually oppose to actually dragging them up. I'll put them on a slant. Uh, just because that slant is really not going to interfere with any other routes. He's not going to actually get in the area of any other routes. It's going to cause any problems. But a lot of times what happens is if you've got your best wide receiver, you can go house against any kind of a crazy man blitz like that. Uh, the other routes really are not going to get are not going to be that great except for the tight end number uh, two one, which is uh, uh, Tyler Eff Efford or Alfred, whatever his name is pronounced. Uh, that can get separation for you if you can get the ball off without getting pressure. Uh, but I look for the high percentage stuff underneath uh, because that's going to be the area that you want to go with. But you're not really going to run a lot into a lot of man man blitzes. It's not very common for a lot of players to, to use man blitzes anymore. Uh, they're using a lot more zone coverage. So let's go ahead and jump into the next coverage, which would be cover two. So against cover two, you've also got the, the Jets uh, six drive wheel. And this basically has got um, a nice little route that's actually going to get fairly good separation right there is that little drag route. Now what I like to do with this particular play is... Um, is to go ahead and streak up or basically go ahead and fade up uh, my tight end number one. And I'm just going to watch uh, the areas just get cleared out uh, underneath. You can pick up a good 10 yards against any kind of cover two that actually carries. So very easy to reach, just one right over the uh, right over the middle. On the back side, too, you've also got uh, that running back route that actually falls there. So I was, I was going to go ahead and throw to it. And then what happens is the CPU got a nice little block shed against me. Uh, let's go ahead and see. 
So the running back is open, but now I've got an opportunity to go and get a big play with the, the, the post route on the back side. So this actually allows you to go ahead and attack in, 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 in three different areas. Our first read is going to be the drag. If the opponent starts biting down on the drag, this post should be wide open. Then you've also got this uh, little delayed route that you can go and hit. Uh, if it's available to you, uh, you can drop drop down to that, especially if you start usering over off the left to take away that drag. Now, tight end um, spot, once again, it's against cover two. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and streak up our, our tight end number uh, uh, number two, and then we're going to go ahead and take the LaFell and actually put him on a drag route. Now, first here we're going to look to is going to be the running back route, and then we've got this route on the backhand side that should get fairly good separation and get get into an area of the field that he can't defend. So I love this because it's just it's a nice little a nice little uh, compliment uh, to different routes there and it, he can't he's got to defend the flat so in other words you're going to force that flat defender uh, to go ahead and go out there and defend that running back. And you've also got this route right here over the middle which you can actually go ahead and drop down to so I have a lot of massive block sheds and that's one of the problems uh, when you're playing uh, these bad teams is that you're going to get block sheds like this um, in practice mode and it's just you really can't avoid it so you guys probably watch enough man and uh, man and youtubers guys that build schemes and understand that you know, these are the things so let's go ahead and jump into the last play which is against cover two is going to be a play action post shot and if you've got a guy spammed a lot of cover two, you can try to set him up for the big play over the middle, or you can go ahead and drag up this guy in the backhand side. So if you drag, you get a high low, what's going to happen is this backside corner is going to be wide open for your, your, your tight end number, uh, number one. So this is a good play to go ahead and jump into if, you've got, if your opponent's running a lot of cover two against you, and you've got basically a high low and you just you're going to be tacking him off to the left you're showing him play action so this is probably going to go mess him up a little bit and uh, you can see these guys are just naked uh, naked on the backside so if the defender carries and doesn't and and stays with his man um, really what's going to happen is you're going to be able to go and get some fairly big yards with it so that's what i do like about it i'm looking for the middle of the field on that last play um, so Let's see if we can get it off once more time and not get any block sheds against this guy. So let's see. Here you go. So right here is a, a, a you know a good play opportunity right there. The defensive backup who jumps it perfectly, but you can see uh, if the guy is not playing the coverage correctly, you can get some fairly big yards. So right here. Let's see Green come up with it, buddy. Thank you. So Green's able to go ahead and come up and get a big catch for me with a big body wide receiver. So let's go ahead and take a look at this against cover three. All right, so uh, against cover three, jet six, drive, uh, jet, jet six drive basically is going to be the same type of a setup. And we're going to go ahead and just look to underneath. That's going to be the area that we want to go and dr drop the ball down to is that little drag route with this with this because this, this whole play gets established with that drag route. Another area of the field two against cover t uh, against cover three is going to be that little wheel route, which sometimes what's going to happen is that you're going to get um, that guy naked, and you can actually just do like a little sideline throw to go and pick up a nice first down. So you got off coverage, and the defensive back doesn't play it correctly. You can actually go ahead and get yourself a nice little completion uh, on a little sideline. So it's, like, it's a nice little wheel route that um, a lot of people just really don't use a lot. But let's see if we can hit it one more time. So the defender actually plays it. I can drop it down to the drag route. And then I've got the, my next progression against cover three is going to be um, basically is going to be basically that post. So defenders are in the area. Let's hit the post. Do a nice, nice little pass lead. So you got you got that all taken care of. So we're still going to be going with the same reads, same progressions. We're going to be looking at the same people. But if this area gets naked, just go ahead and hit the sideline. What an easy completion right there. So that's what I do like about cover three. Uh, tight end spot. Once again, we're going to go ahead and basically take this guy, uh, just uh, streak him up, uh, take LaFell and actually put him on a drag. High low um, on the corner. Attack that running back. That's easy, cheap yards, and it's going to force your opponent to play hard coverages. So go to that all the time with the tight end um, spot. So we're going to drag up and then streak up our tight end number two. Look at the corner. I've got the dragger right here, so I can check that down. 
once again this is going to be the look that we're going to have and you just want to check it down to the running back pick up the easy yards so on the unlikely event he does Mabel coverage you've also got opportunities you can attack him over the middle of the field uh, which was a nice little spec catch that we had right there and you've also got that dragging route on the back end side by Kareem so um, you can catch your opponent off guard with that but this is, this is all levels man it's just running levels on that other side uh, and the last play I guess cover through is going to be play action post shot uh, once again we're going to go ahead and drag up um, uh, our tight end number two and just take a look at, a look at our reads uh, the area of the field that we want to try to attack is going to be that area right there with um, that uh, tight end Let's see if we can actually get it off. So I actually forced that ball in there. Should have threw it away. Got a high low. Low is wide open, so we're just going to go ahead and drop it down to that, to that route right there. We go back to this play again one more time. Now we've got the separation we're looking for. Uh, this is a better play against cover two. The cover two zones just can't take care of those corners, but once again, it's going to be uh, a nice little area of the field that you can go and attack against your opponents. So let's see if that gets opened up again. So we're just going to take the sideline route and just and kick it up for, for the cheap yards. So you want to left, let, wait, wait for that wide receiver to go ahead and stop if you've got uh, depth um, going up to the deeper route of tight, tight end number two. But generally what's going to happen is you'll be able to go ahead and get a nice little completion, some big yards with that. All right, so against cover four, um, jet wheel. Pretty much is going to run the same way. Once again, we're going to go ahead and take a look at, at those routes. So you see how that guy floated out. So now we just check it down uh, to the underneath route against cover four. So that's just going to be the area that we're going to go to. Um, also, what should happen too is this running back route might be wide open. But you can see right here, I'm actually I've got basically two different areas of field that I can hit uh, against my opponent. Um, <clears throat> with the way this is set up. We've also got this deep post, so if you can get a low pass lead, uh, you can actually go ahead and get a nice little completion. So let's see if we could pop a low pass lead on this. Not a lot of people are running cover four anymore, but you know that's a nice little way to go ahead and hit the seam. So you might want to be able to pop the seam right away. And gets cover four. You just do a little possession catch, you're going to pick up a good 15 yards with that gets cover four just because the other routes just get preoccupied. Um, the tight end spot, once again, look to the flat. And uh, the flat should be wide open with the running back where you can get those easy yards. The defender actually has to come over and play the middle of the field with tight end spot. So let's see that. So these guys just get frozen and they're just going to give up a flat. So <clears throat> unless he goes into some kind of a hard flat, um, 9 out of 10 times, um, he's going to basically go ahead and give up that flat route against you. So if you've got an opponent that's spamming a lot of cover 4, which is good, it's, it's good possibility he's going to do that because he wants to stop the run, those flat routes should be wide open for you with the... Uh, with the uh, the uh, tight end uh, spot uh, play, so let's just go and see that. And then I've also got this crossing route over here, but you can see the defender falls down to it. Now on the back side, now if we get enough time, which is not likely with this, the way this game plays, on the back side you've got a deep dig route. All right, so you can see right there, didn't get it off because I got a block shed, but let's see if we can get it one more time here. Let's see if we get a block shed. You can hit this route uh, on the back side. So if he starts fouling the, the running back route off to the right, you can go back to the left hand side. And the final play, we're going to look at the, the play action post shot. And this is going to be a nice little play, uh, play to go ahead and attack against your opponent. Play action. And as you can see right here, this, this route just gets wide open. So you're attacking your opponent in all different areas of the field. It's just going to be very difficult for him to, uh, to stop uh, everything against you because you're you're hitting him the corners, you're hitting him underneath, uh, you're hitting him in the flats, uh, and just uh, just in different areas. So with the running plays, also with these passing plays, you should be able to go and move fairly effective up up and down the field. I think the Achilles heel with this with this particular offense is man, man blitzers. So if you got if you got a guy that man blitzes a lot, you're gonna have to make some adjustments to go and clean it up. Once again my subscribers, thanks for your support guys.
Make sure you hit the like button if you do like these tips. And to my patrons, thank you for your support, guys. I hope that you like this mini scheme.